गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स अंडर चैप्टर केमिकल बॉन्डिंग एंड मॉलिकुलर स्ट्रक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट आयनिक बॉन्ड फॉर्मेशन एंड वेरियस कंसेप्ट बिहाइंड अ केमिकल बॉन्ड फॉर्मेशन नाउ नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इन द चैप्टर इज हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड सो लेट एस सी वॉट इज अ हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड एंड हाउ इट इज फॉर्म एंड वॉट आर द कॉन्सिक्वेंसिस ऑफ हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग इन अ मॉलिक्यूल let us see what is a hydrogen bond uh, as you can see here in the diagram h2o molecule is shown here and oxygen being highly electronegative element uh, it withdraws the electron or you can say the electron cloud of covalent bond of o and h gets shifted towards oxygen and that is the reason that this oxygen acquires a partial negative charge and hydrogen requires a partial positive charge and due to this partial charge separation the oxygen which is get uh, getting now negatively charged is attracted by the positively charged hydrogen atom of another molecule as you can see here two molecules of water are shown in the figure and these two molecules are joined with the help of one dotted line that dotted line is actually a kind of dipolar interaction or dipolar attraction a kind of electrostatic force of attraction present between partially positive hydrogen and partially negative oxygen actually uh, lone pairs present on oxygen here uh, gets attracted towards the partially positive hydrogen ion so this kind of uh, dipole attraction results in the formation of a weak bond which is called hydrogen bond and here you can see in the um, g uh, this picture also that uh, water actually it's very interesting example of hydrogen bonding that water is a liquid as compared to uh, h2s h2se h2te those which are the hydrides of 16th group element these all are the hydrides including water others are gases only water h2o is a liquid the water is a liquid this is only because of this interesting phenomena called hydrogen bond as you can see here in diagram uh, that continuously water molecules are getting closer somewhere by the formation and breaking this this reformation and breaking of hydrogen bond is taking place in liquid water and this kind of hydrogen bond formation is not possible in other hydrides of 16th group like h2s h2se h2de etc hence water molecules due to this kind of association they have higher boiling point and that results in change of physical state of water into liquid at normal room temperature as boiling point of water is 100 degree celsius next we will discuss what are the conditions required for hydrogen bond the so first important thing is there must be a highly electronegative element or atom directly linked to hydrogen atom in a molecule तो पॉसिबिलिटी कब होगी मॉलिक्यूल में हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड बनने की इफ द मॉलिक्यूल हैज अ वेरी हाई इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिव एलिमेंट डायरेक्टली कनेक्टेड टू हाइड्रोजन एटम सेकंड कंडीशन द साइज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिव एटम शुड बी स्मॉल मींस इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिव एटम शुड बी स्मॉलर सो दैट इट कैन इजिली पार्टिसिपेट और यू कैन से इट इजिली गेट अट्रैक्टेड towards the positively charged hydrogen ion and third one fluorine oxygen and nitrogen they are highly electronegative elements and are smaller in size hence they can effectively form hydrogen bond but chlorine being highly electronegative as well uh, as you know that its uh, chlorine has electronegativity somewhere approximately equal to oxygen but still it is not uh, able to form hydrogen bond because of its larger size next examples of hydrogen bonding various examples can be seen and few of them you can see here 
water molecule water exists in a liquid form as compared to the other hydrides of 16th group elements like h2s h2 se h2 te all these hydrides of 16th group elements are in gaseous state whereas water is the only hydride of 16th group element which is in a liquid form and this liquid state of water is possible due to hydrogen bonding which associate these h2o molecule together increasing its boiling point next you can see ammonia ammonia molecule which has nitrogen atom bonded with three hydrogen again due to polarity in bond nitrogen being negatively charged gets attracted towards hydro positively charged hydrogen of another molecule so actually in these all examples you can see that there exist a lone pair of electron over all these atoms whether it is oxygen nitrogen and fluorine they have lone pair of electrons and the orbital having this lone pair of electron gets partially overlapped with the uh, orbital of hydrogen and in this way a weak bond is formed which is called hydrogen bond and it's not compulsory that only molecules having similar type can be associated with hydrogen bonding as you can see in this example ethanol and water many organic molecules which when mixed with water can form hydrogen bonding and due to this hydrogen hydrogen bonding they get mixed with water and they are actually soluble in water for example ethanol methanol and lower alcohols lower carboxylic acids these are fairly soluble in water just because they can form hydrogen bonding with water next is characteristics of hydrogen bond firstly it is a type of electrostatic attraction as it is uh, uh, due to the two different or oppositely charged poles and we can see that it is a kind of dipole dipole interaction hence it is a kind of electrostatic force of attraction between hydrogen and one highly electronegative atom it is stronger than van der waal forces actually van der waal forces are also present among the molecules but these are weaker forces but hydrogen bonding is comparatively stronger as uh, than these kind of van der waal forces but it is weaker than any covalent or ionic bonds means chemical bonding mein ionic and covalent bonds are the stronger one whereas van der waal forces are the weakest one but hydrogen bond is somewhere between these two bonds uh, van der waal forces is zyada strong hoga covalent and ionic bonds se comparatively weaker hai and the strength of hydrogen bond depends on the electronegativity of the involved atom jo uh, electronegative element involved hai bonding mein the strength of hydrogen bond depends on that electronegativity of the element and hence fluorine makes strongest hydrogen bonds and next important characteristic is that it results in association of molecules molecules get associated due to the formation of new type of attraction force between these and resulting in change of many physical properties to a greater extent next is the consequences of hydrogen bonding now uh, what are the results of hydrogen bonding or kya changes aate hain molecule mein hydrogen bonding ki wajah se let us see that firstly is association association as we know that two or more molecules can combine together with the help of these hydrogen bonds as uh, these bonds are represented by dotted structures so you can see in diagram two molecules of carboxylic acids get linked or get uh, you can say combined together with the help of uh, these two hydrogen bonds with between oxygen atom and hydrogen atom and this type of association is responsible for the uh, you can say increased molecular masses of such compounds when they are calculated from their simple molecular formula so when these molecular masses are determined by some experimental method so they come out to be double as compared to their actual molecular mass 
which we can calculate from their formula so this increase in molecular masses is also called abnormal molecular masses and that is due to association of such molecules due to hydrogen bonding next important consequence is high melting and boiling points because molecules get um, you can say linked through hydrogen bonds with each other so in a particular substance large amount of energy is required to change the physical state for example if we need to melt a solid which is bonded with hydrogen bonds so you require more energy to break that so that is the reason that hydrogen bonding results in increased melting and boiling points unusual high boiling point of hf among all halo acids like hbr hcl hik comparatively hf ka boiling point quite high hai because of hf has is you can say associated with hydrogen bonding whereas such kind of hydrogen bonding is absent in other halo acids h2 is a liquid whereas other uh, hydrides of group 16 are gases that we have also discussed so this liquid state of h2 is possible because water molecules are actually bonded with uh, hydrogen bonds and these kind of bonds are not present in h2s or other hydrides and that kind of association results in increased boiling point of water and boiling point of water is actually 100 degree celsius so below 100 degree celsius water will exist as liquid so this is due to increased boiling point that the physical state of water is liquid ammonia has a higher boiling point than phosphine or other hydrides of group 15 this is also because of possibility of hydrogen bond and ethanol has a higher boiling point then it's structurally uh, similar isomer ethanol ka jo structure isomer hai beta that is diethyl ether functional isomer so its functional group very hote hi boiling point mein difference aa jata hai because ethanol can um successfully form hydrogen bonds whereas diethyl ether cannot form hydrogen bond so these are few examples that you must know what happens in these kind of compounds due to hydrogen bonding next solubility many organic compounds are soluble in water only because of the possibility of um intermolecular hydrogen bonding which is possible in these compounds like when alcohols carboxylic acid sugar they are dissolved in water they form hydrogen bonds with water and hence they are easily soluble volatility as the compounds involving hydrogen bonding between different molecules have a higher boiling point so with increase in boiling point their volatile nature will decrease so compounds having uh extent of hydrogen bonding greater will be less volatile next we will viscosity and surface tension as these two phenomena are directly related to the uh, types of forces which bind the molecules together as hydrogen bond is responsible for association of molecules hence the viscosity and surface tension will become higher as the tendency of the liquids will to flow will decrease with increase in hydrogen bonding next is very important consequences of uh, uh, hydrogen bonding in water that is water is more dense as compared to its solid form ice that is ice has lesser density than water the reason behind that is when ice is formed from liquid water then hydrogen bonding takes place in such a way that a open cage like structure of water molecule is formed as you can see the diagram uh, that each water molecule is linked tetrahedrally to four other water molecules and between these tetrahedron some vacant spaces are created and due to these vacant spaces the the density of the ice is 
decreased and the molecules are not so closely packed as they are in liquid water because in liquid water these hydrogen bonds are not uh, you can say permanent the bonds can break or uh, form again and again as we have seen in the gif uh, first gif that with that i we started with the video and these continuous reforming and breaking of hydrogen bonds results in breaking of these vacant spaces in liquid water but when water solidifies to form ice then this open cage like structure forms and empty spaces are created that decreases the density of ice as compared to water and when ice melts this cage like structure collapses and hydrogen bond starts a uh, breaking and the molecules come closer to each other up to 4 degree celsius like 277 kelvin temperature this uh, breaking of hydrogen bonds take place and the all these open cage like structures get uh, you can say distorted and molecules come closer to each other but after this temperature the thermal expansion of water increases and volume of water start increasing hence density decreases that is we can say water has maximum density at 277 kelvin that is 4 degree celsius below that it is in ice form density is lower and above that also liquid water will also have lesser density because of increase in volume at higher temperature thermal expansion takes place next is the types of hydrogen bonding actually on the basis of hydrogen bond whether it is formed within uh, the same molecule or between different molecules it can be classified into two types if it is taking place between different molecules then it is called as intermolecular hydrogen bonding and when it is formed within the same molecule then it is said to be intramolecular hydrogen bonding as you can see here uh, first example of hf hydrogen of uh, fluorine atom of one molecule is bonded with hydrogen of other molecule with the help of hydrogen bond and you can see that black line is representing normal covalent bond whereas the dotted red line represents hydrogen bond and similarly in water molecule also hydrogen of one water molecule is bonded with oxygen of other molecule with the help of red dotted line that is hydrogen bond but in the next right hand side example you can see that oxygen atom and hydrogen atom which are involved in hydrogen bonding belong to the same molecule itself so this is a kind of intramolecular hydrogen bonding let us discuss them in detail intermolecular hydrogen bonding takes place when hydrogen bond is formed between hydrogen atom of one molecule and the electronegative atom of another molecule but these molecules may be similar type like hf nh3 water or they may be of different type as it is given in example when ammonia is mixed with water when ethanol is mixed with water when vinegar or any carboxylic acid is mixed with water so do two different types of molecules if they combine with the help of hydrogen bond then this kind of uh, molecular this kind of bonding is called intermolecular hydrogen bonding and it always results in association of molecules molecules get associated due to the formation of intermolecular hydrogen bonding next is intramolecular hydrogen bonding as we have discussed that when hydrogen bonds are formed between the same molecule within the same molecule then it is said to be intramolecular bonding so there are certain conditions required to form intramolecular hydrogen bond for a particular molecule first condition is molecule must have two functional groups with electronegative atoms and at least one of those groups must have hydrogen atom attached with electronegative atom as you can see here in these two examples the these compounds have uh, two different functional groups attached with the ring 
uh, with benzene ring first example is ortho nitrophenol in which you can see one is nitro group and the other one is oh alcohol group and in second example one group is cho aldehyde group and the second one is oh alcohol group so in these examples you can see that these two groups must have elect highly electronegative element they as they have and one group has hydrogen directly attached to that highly electronegative element तो वो हाइड्रोजन आपको कहाँ मिल रहा है बेटा दोनों ही ग्रुप्स में वो हाइड्रोक्सी ग्रुप जो अल्कोहल ग्रुप है उसमें प्रेजेंट है तो ओ एच ग्रुप अल्कोहलिक ग्रुप का हाइड्रोजन और दूसरे ग्रुप का ऑक्सीजन दे गेट एसोसिएटेड और दे गेट कंबाइंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ हाइड्रो दे आर अट्रैक्टेड एक्चुअली बाई हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग एंड वन मोर कंडीशन विच इज रिक्वायर्ड इज दैट मॉलिक्यूल मस्ट बी प्लेनर जो थ्री डायमेंशनल स्पेस है बेटा उसमें एक ही प्लेन पे मॉलिकुलर स्ट्रक्चर होना चाहिए इफ देन ओनली हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड्स कैन फॉर्म एंड लास्ट वन इज इट मस्ट रिजल्ट इन साइक्लाइजेशन टू फॉर्म अ स्टेबल रिंग जनरली अ सिक्स मेंबर रिंग तो इफ इंट्रा मॉलिकुलर हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग रिजल्ट इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ अ स्टेबल रिंग देन ओनली इट विल टेक प्लेस अदरवाइज नो तो दीज आर दी एसेंशियल कंडीशन एंड वन मोर यू कैन रिमेंबर two functional groups must be present at uh, ortho position in order to satisfy the conditions for intramolecular hydrogen bonding next is difference between these two types of hydrogen bonding as you know that one is uh, intramolecular is formed between two different atoms uh, two different molecules whereas intramolecular hydrogen bonding is formed between within the same molecule so intermolecular hydrogen bonding may take place within same or different types of molecules but obviously intramolecular hydrogen bonding will take place within the same molecules intermolecular hydrogen bonding results in association of molecules like dimers trimers tetramers can be formed but intramolecular hydrogen bonding doesn't re result in such association next is it affects the physical properties to a greater extent beta intermolecular hydrogen bonding ki wajah se molecules ka quite closer aa jate hain ek dusre ke and hence their melting and boiling points increase to a large extent whereas uh, intramolecular hydrogen bonding doesn't affect physical properties to a large extent only a minor effect may be there last one intermolecular hydrogen bonding does not cause cyclization of molecule whereas intramolecular hydrogen bonding results in stable cyclization of molecules i hope the types of uh, hydrogen bonding is clear to you all thank you and have a nice day